Hello Aquarius, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your December 2017 mini tarot reading. Thanks for stopping in today and let me take this opportunity to wish you happy holidays. May peace and joy and love be for you and your family and all that are open to receive it. I can't believe it's the end of the year already. Let's take a look here and see what's coming up for you Aquarius in December. Here we go. Please remember to check your sun and your moon and your rising sign because there may be something there uh, for you that connects a little bit better or as good as your sun sign. So make sure you check that out. And also, if you'd like a private reading uh, just about you, please stop by my website at www.soulstarbliss.com. Let's get back here to this reading here. Wow, it looks like... Uh, some of you are going to be standing up for what you believe in or, or voicing your opinion. And you know what? You're going to be heard, so this is a good thing. Make sure you choose your words wisely. Okay, um, people are more apt to listen to you with uh, authority, of course, but kindness rather than harshness. It says, oh, some of you are wanting to move, okay, or even to travel. It says you've been praying or asking for, manifesting, guess what? You're going to make the plans this month for some of that. I don't know if it's for moving, but I feel that there's going to be some travel here or some travel plans made um, for you and your family, for, for some of you. Um, it says there's a lot of commotion around you right now. Things aren't quiet. Of course, it's December, and we all know that, you know, that's the time when family comes and goes or friends. It's truly a time, I believe, to celebrate and appreciate everything that we have um, or have going on. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, it says, learn from those that you know. Okay, if you have people in the past, I'm sure everybody does, that you learned a lesson of trust or non-trust. Or if you learned, you know, who you could trust and who you couldn't trust. I'm just using that as an example. So we want to review back to see some of the uh, lessons we've learned or uh, techniques we've learned for dealing with people. That's going to be real key for some of you this month is how you present yourself or how you... Um, speak up for yourself because you are going to be heard so if you choose your words wisely it's going to be very good for for a lot of you it says um relationships very important also this month those of you that are married you're going to find um or in a permanent relationship a serious relationship you're going to find um that your mate your partner a lot of you they're willing to talk about issues willing to talk about plans so speak up and who knows, maybe you're going to be able to make a lot of those plans, plans for travel or whatever it is that you're wanting here. Um, it also says that um, it's time to put some of your worries to rest, okay? If you have some issues from the past that are, are uh, aggravating or irritating you, this is a real good time to put those to rest. It says all that hard work you've done, it's going to start paying off for you. People are going to notice and pay attention uh, to things that you're I don't want to say stating, but you're uh, giving an example of. And a lot of times, um, words are easy to say, but our actions speak so much louder. It says your intuition this month is going to be very good, especially for bringing in more money, um, making things happen, whether that means you're going to be looking at the right time for a right job or you're going to be getting a bonus. It just feel that there's going to be a better money flow uh, this month, and I have a feeling it continues into next year. So there's going to be a change in finances for a lot of you. Maybe you, you've been looking for a job and you're thinking there isn't one out there for you. I feel a lot there's going to be change for money for a lot of you. And it may be those already in a job, there'll be a raise, it'll be something, a bonus. Or maybe you've got some things paid up. But those of you that were struggling with money, I have a feeling your intuition is really going to help. So if you get a feeling you should go, you know, apply at a certain factory or a business or a company or start your own. It's trust what you feel. It says the opportunity here is the, the chariot, one who achieves greatness. This happens very quickly for a lot of you. And it says someone's saying that you're a fool. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you're nobody's fool. You have a lot of wants, wishes, and daydreams. And it might be right now the right time for you to do something with those. A lot of change coming for some of you. And it happens very quickly. Okay, and I feel that's with, um, with other people. If you're having issues with somebody close to you, it might be a good time to talk about it. Don't just keep stuffing the feelings down. It might be a time that you need to speak up for yourself. And, of course, that's not for everybody. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Um, it says your apprenticeship is about over, though. It says what you know, put into practice what you know, especially for yourself. There's sunshine here, the sun card, happiness. 
Don't let anyone take that from you. Stand on what you know. Stand on what you feel. It says new beginnings for you certainly by springtime. Don't worry how things are. Do something about it. And it says that you're going to. I feel really good about it for you. Don't give your power away, which means if you mean no, say no. You have a lot of spirit help around you and you have new beginnings here possible. And with that said, Aquarius, thank you so much for dropping in. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss and I can't wait to see you next year. Thanks so much for your support.